What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and we're taking a quick look at a new attack strategy. It is the Bat Wave Funnel and um, this is something I haven't seen people do a lot of. Just going to take a look at one attack today, keep it brief. Uh, it works best at Town Hall 12, but you can use it at Town Hall 13 as well. Um, it's a good way to exploit the power of the uh, Slammer, the Siege Slammer. Uh, especially as it relates to taking out the town hall. And you're going to see what I mean in just a moment, but um, I really like the strategy. It is going to be only applicable to certain bases, but if it's there, I think um, it's definitely a good idea uh, to try it out because you'll see it. it's a very interesting and pretty powerful technique right here. Um, so if you notice on the town hall side, it's pretty um, far from the core of the base, kind of isolated as people often... Uh, have it set up on their bases just to spread out the value from the Eagle, Infernos, and Town Hall. Um, starts off with the Warden Walk, typical P.E.K.K.A. Smash opener. Um, you'll see not a whole lot of splash damage, um, and that's often the case um, for a, uh, a Town Hall 12 base especially. Uh, without those um, scatter shots, uh, the Infernos are often going to be either on single or far enough away you don't have to worry about the multis. Uh, also, no wizard tower, but oftentimes you can tank it with an ice golem. I like um, the use of the ice golem here. There's no splash, but that's you know three defenses that are all going to be tanked by that ice golem. And basically, just using the bats on all those defenses around the town hall, make sure they path um, away from the inferno and the wizard tower. There has a freeze as well, just in case uh, something happens there. What they're going to do is they're going to create the funnel um, by taking out all those defenses on that side making it a lot easier uh, for everything to push in and then stay inside the base going towards the core instead of meandering off towards the town hall. And then what's going to happen to the town hall? Well, he's going to use the um, slammer to take it out. And the benefit of using the slammer on the town hall is the town hall is great at taking out um, medium hit point troops um, a lot at a time. But for something like the siege slammer, it has a lot of hit points and it's only one unit. So the town hall is not going to be very effective. The Giga Tesla doesn't very uh, doesn't hurt it very much. So you can see here comes in a uh, nice little test balloon to, uh, to trip any seeking air mines, and then it takes it out with the help of the king right there. Uh, very very easy. And the uh, death damage, the explosion at the end, doesn't even do that much damage to the slammer either. So this is something that I think you know, like I said, a little bit base specific, but I wanted to get it out there for you guys to take a look at and maybe implement at Town Hall 12 or even Town Hall 13, you don't have to commit to using, you know, seven, eight bat spells. Four bat spells, even three maybe, depending on the base, is good. And I would like, you know, giants and ice golems to tank uh, two, three archer towers, teslas, just because if you're using a, a low amount of bat spell, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, wizard towers or multi-infernos, any type of point damage even, archer towers, teslas, stuff like that, um, can also be a bit of an issue if there's too many of them they'll thin out your bats too quickly So make sure to tank make sure there's no splash damage clear that out It can really make it a lot easier to do a P.E.K.K.A. smash if you don't have to worry about the town hall And you can just use the slammer um, Kind of as an afterthought to take out the town hall as your troops pass it by That'll do it for today's video. Um, thanks for watching more to come and I'll see you guys next time Bisectatron out